The question of whether the F-35 fighter jet is a failure or not is one of the most debated topics, especially with the emergence of the NGAD aircraft, which was recently released by President Donald Trump. As we dive further, it is essential to separate perception from fact. The F-35 Lightning II, developed by Lockheed Martin, was envisioned as a fifth-generation, multi-role stealth fighter capable of dominating contested airspace and integrating seamlessly with Allied forces. By 2025, the F-35 has received major upgrades, including a new adaptive engine, advanced stealth materials, AI-driven avionics, and enhanced weapon systems, making it arguably the most advanced fighter jet in the world. Its operational versatility across the F-35A, F-35B, and F-35C variants allows it to perform air superiority, ground attack, and electronic warfare missions with unprecedented effectiveness. However, the F-35 program has faced significant and well-documented challenges. The most persistent issues are related to readiness and sustainment. Mission-capable rates have hovered around 55%, well below the 75% target, and maintenance costs have soared, with total sustainment projected to exceed $1.5 trillion over the program's lifetime. Delays in critical software upgrades, supply chain problems, and occasional training accidents have further complicated its operational rollout. These issues have led to criticism from oversight bodies like the Government Accountability Office, which highlight the need for improved reliability and cost control to ensure the F-35's long-term viability. Despite these hurdles, the F-35 has proven its value in real-world operations and multinational exercises. It has accumulated over 1 million flight hours, participated in high-end exercises with Allied Air Forces, and demonstrated its ability to intercept adversary aircraft and conduct precision strikes in conflict zones such as Yemen. Its stealth, sensor fusion, and networked warfare capabilities give the U.S. and its allies a decisive edge against peer competitors like China's J-20 and Russia's Su-57. The F-35's global footprint continues to expand, with more than 1,100 jets delivered and over 17 nations integrating it into their air forces, and almost every NATO country that has the budget for this aircraft has them. And not just NATO, U.S., U.K., Australia, Italy, Netherlands, Canada, Denmark, Norway, Israel, Japan, South Korea, Belgium, Poland, and Singapore. Almost all of these countries ordering more from Lockheed, including the US, which have ordered 1,300 more. And that's just the A variant, the Air Force variant. The F-35 is literally replacing everything. It is the most badass aircraft ever made, and if I was to choose which aircraft to fly, it would be the F-35. So if we label the F-35 as a failure, it ignores both the scale of its technological achievements and its growing impact on modern warfare. While it is true that the program has encountered serious cost and readiness challenges, the F-35 remains a transformational platform that is setting new standards for air combat and coalition interoperability. Its ongoing upgrades and operational successes suggest that Despite its flaws, the F-35 is far from a failure. Instead, it is a complex but indispensable asset for 21st century air power, 